going on guys? My name is Johnny Bandon and I'm going to be your CCNA instructor for this CCNA video series. So I'm so excited to be here with you guys. If you're viewing this at our paid course, I want to thank you for the support. I promise you spending the money on us will make your dreams come true. We will get you certified. You got to trust the process and make sure that you're studying diligently and following everything that we say to do. And I guarantee that CCNA certification will be yours. If you're watching this from our free YouTube series, thank you for watching as well. You definitely do not need to pay for this course to get good information, good knowledge, and a solid understanding of the CCNA. Now, with that being said, let's jump right into it and get into the CCNA and the Cisco certification. So what is the Cisco certification? So first off, we need to take a step back and go over really what is Cisco. So Cisco is a multi-billion dollar organization that dominates the market in enterprise routing and switching and a lot of other technologies. But since we're talking about the CCNA, I know it has wireless, it has cloud, it has security in there now. But really, when we're talking a CCNA professional or an associate or CCNA network administrator, we're talking the enterprise, which is what Cisco dominates. Routers, switches, firewalls, phones, right? And of course, we have our Cisco ICE. But without giving too far off topic, right, we're going over the Cisco certification series, the Cisco track. So like it says here, Cisco certifies IT professionals in multiple disciplines as it relates to the information technology industry and, of course, their own products, hardware and software. So let's get into actual Cisco certification. So everyone starts right here at the associate level. What this means for you is that Cisco is saying it's not entry level. But again, if you want to jump right into it, you can just start with the CCNA. Personally, I've never looked at what the CCT routing and switching is. I'm sure it's a good segue for someone that is just technologically illiterate. But as you'll come to find out, either through our course or other great courses out there on YouTube, Udemy, and all these training platforms, CCNA is a great entry level into networking. So as we see here, there's other associate certs, CyberOps, DevNet, which is a great track to be in. It's kind of the future, right? And then we have our professional level certs here, really all throughout here. And then, of course, the creme de la creme, the CCIE. So becoming Cisco certified, it's definitely important that you understand the certification track, right? I've met a few CCNAs. Uh, that don't really understand how to research or what's next sometimes. And I'm like, dang, how did you get your cert? Um, <laughs> but again, not everyone knows about the Cisco certification track just because they are certified in it. They may just be a network professional that knows networking well. And some boss told them, hey, you need to get certified or we're losing this government contract, right? So the CCNA expires every three years. Cisco recently, when they changed up the certification track, did come out with CEUs that have to be Cisco approved training. So if you go to Cisco's website, which I can bring up for us, and go to Cisco CEU list, again, the continuing education program. Let me just clear the screen off a little bit. You can see here, everything you need to know. So Cisco gives you all the answers, guys. So if you just type in Cisco CEU list, that's what I have in my Google search there. You can find out what you need to research in three years. Or you can retest the CCNA, take it again every three years. Or you could take a higher level certification like a CCMP test, and this can be any CCMP test. So the CCMP Enterprise is made up of two tests, one, the CCMP Encore, and then a bunch of different specializations to get the CCMP Enterprise. So if you just take one test like the CCMP Encore, that'll renew your CCNA for another three years. And then the same is true, that logic for every test. So if you become CCMP, P Enterprise, you can just take another specialization, let's say like the wireless one, 
And that will renew this entire, entire cert for three years. Okay, awesome. So now that we've gone over a little bit about certification, and if you want to learn more about the CCIE, Cisco does have plenty of information on the CCIE. This is the only real test in a true lab environment, whereas the CCNA, the CCMP can be taken from home at our Pearson View Test Center. It's multiple choice. The CCIE is a true engineering level certification where you got to go test your metal configuring, troubleshooting, managing devices. That is the CCIE. So what does certification mean for you? And again, I know how it's like out there in the internet. Everyone's a hype beast for certifications. Everyone knows how to make money quick, right? If you get this, you'll have money now. I'm going to shoot it to you straight. Certification is important when getting a networking or an IT job if you don't have any experience, if you don't have college, or if you want a salary negotiate, okay? Coming from the world I've been in, working in the government, certification does matter. But I have plenty of friends and other professionals working at MSPs, ISPs, where sometimes that certification doesn't matter to your employer. He wants to make sure you can do the job, okay? I don't want to take certifications as the end all be all of success, but it is a true fact that the average salary for CCNA does have a price on it. And that if you're trying to learn and advance your career, you can't talk IT without talking certifications, right? So again, why should you get certified? This is a great list and you do what you love, right? But again, we live in America in a capitalist society and I'm not being political. We need some dinero to survive. And IT and technology is a great career field. It's always going to be in demand, but it's always changing as well. And certifications is a way to try to keep up with technology, right? You know, sometimes technology moves way past the certification, but it is a way to raise your current role. Maybe you're at network administrator or junior and getting that CCNA will put you at just network administrator, right? Maybe career improvement. Maybe, hey, you're tired of working for the man and you want to go on to a new company, right? Maybe you get your CCNA to buff that resume. I know a lot of colleges. If you're taking a computer science degree with maybe a specialty in IT, we're not talking development and programming, the CCNA maybe can take some classes off your workload. Making a change in your IT career. You've been routing that help desk for a year now, and you want to go to that network operations center. I would say the CCNA is a good place to start, especially if you work with Cisco equipment in your enterprise or the enterprises you support. The CCNA is also a good way to get your first job in IT. And I know I can have a lot of people commenting that's not true, but we live in a big world. And again, the environment I came from working in the DOD and government I've met a lot of individuals that got their CCNA and started their first IT job as a junior network administrator. So those are all the reasons to get certified. And I'm here to help you on that journey. I've been teaching for a while now. Uh, I've been a Cisco Network Academy instructor in U.S. Special Operations. I started my own company training, Trepa Technologies, and I am excited to impart my knowledge onto you and to get you certified first time go. So I want to thank you for viewing. And I want to let everybody know, right? Our slogan, we are training you trust at Trepa Technologies. Thank you.